Welcome back to Island Tea with your host, well, Azem. And we have Jade, <laughs> Gwenny Gwen Johnson here, <laughs> here with us this morning. And um, guys, we have a very special guest joining us via Zoom right now. The man himself, Mr. Clean Sheet, Jelani Archibald. Jelani, how are you, Bridget? Um, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good for now. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's a real pleasure to have you um, joining us today. Um, it, 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 it's, it's, as, a, as a football fan, uh, you're definitely somebody who um, I, I, I admire um, all that you've been doing with your career, um, your national representation, and even now these new steps that you're making in, in, your, in your career um, abroad. But um, I know for a fact that Jade is a super, 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 super fan. Yeah, man. Listen, a wildcat. You know, we have to start from that. A wildcat, okay? You can't tell me nothing, as in, you cannot tell me nothing. May say nothing. May say nothing. You better not, because we will gang you on here today. Well, sometimes yeah, I'll catch one or two, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and Jul- no, man, but Jolani is definitely um, a, 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 f- a real footballer. Um, mucho 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 talent and um Jelani again thanks for, for for joining us no problem no problem so Jelani how, how how have you been like you know you you are now joining a new team which we're going to get into later but yeah you you know joined a new team so you traveled and had to adapt to something new again so how, how has that been going for you ah it's been a rough uh I won't... It's been a rough like six six weeks, basically, because um, it, I didn't have any time to say goodbye to my family, like physically. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. after I finished playing with the national team, I flew to Europe one time. So yeah, then then when I got in England, I was to quarantine in England for two weeks. Then when I when after the two weeks when it's time to fly to Malta, like, when I tested to go to Malta, then it was uh, I tested positive for COVID, so it set me back another two weeks. Oh I yikes! Couldn't, couldn't join up the team in time for well, I joined up in time for preseason, but it was a mm-hmm. bit up, you know. So yeah. but I'm finally now and I just enjoy in the moment, you know. But Jelani, yeah, so- for, for for those who may not know exactly, um, this new this new um journey that you're on, where are you and what's your new what's the name of your new team, your new club? Oh, I'm I'm in I'm in Malta and the name of the club is Santo Lucia. Boom bang. Why can't pronounce that? Vibes. <laughs> Vibes. But some people think it's Saint Lucia, but it's Santo Lucia. <laughs> I am happy that you did. You said it before I did because I was literally going to say San Lucia. <laughs> That's all I've been reading. <laughs> no, people, people ask me, like, you're going to say Lucia? It's like, no, not San Lucia. Because... Oh, man. That's, that's, that's actually what I thought first when I saw the announcement. I said, oh, you're not going to say Lucia? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our fault, okay? We, we, we were taught to, to read what we see. Yeah. Okay. But Jelani, um, well, since we're on this, let's talk. Let's talk a bit about it. Um, you already spoke about the fact that you know, having to leave national duty to go off and 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 start this new chapter in your career. Um, how that was difficult, and how COVID even made it even more difficult and delayed your arrival in Malta. But um, how did this opportunity come about for you? Um, I was. I was playing. I was playing in Honduras, and he, he, it's so it's so funny. Like um, like a year back, I was to come here to play for a different team, but the team already. I think they went and bought a Brazilian goalkeeper, mm-hmm. you know. So and it set me back. So when the opportunity arrived again. I just grab it with two arms and me and my agent discuss and he said the team really interested and I'm like, okay. 
Um, I dream to be in Europe long time, so is 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 a is a first step, you know. So I just right. got to open arms. Wow. So basically, there were other teams in the league who had already recognized your talent. Um, do you think you think um, you you would have gotten on the radar based on your time in Honduras, or was it maybe your time with the national team? Uh, I would say a bit of both. A bit of both because when I was in Honduras, like nobody didn't really know me. It was a, it was a bit difficult to to adapt to because the language barrier too. So mm-hmm. I had to work twice as hard. You have to try to understand what they're saying, even though I don't understand the um, Spanish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, performing the national team, you know, national team is a international thing. So you're gonna fly here and there game is gonna be broadcast and I, I think the last the last game I played in El in El Salvador the president and the coach watched and there was like after the game there was like okay yeah we definitely have to bring him you okay. know if nobody made me right so 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 that was it that was the thing that sent them over the top where it's like yeah we see the skill this is somebody who we think could contribute to what we're trying to build here at this club yeah, um, that was the first game. That was the first, they saw video clips, but that was the first live game they saw with me. Right, yeah. right. I, I think I think it's it's amazing that um, persons worldwide are able to to recognize your talent and recognize the fact that you could definitely contribute to their clubs. Um, and I, it's not lost on me how important the role that you play um, as a goalkeeper is to the success of the teams um and so to see that they they're willing to to bring you on and 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 give you that responsibility i think it really speaks volumes to to your level of talent um <clears throat> but you said this was a a dream for you really to 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 play in to play in europe um and and that makes me wonder like you have been playing football from a very young age right here in think it's um, yep. born and raised born and raised um at what point did you think that wait first thing you're always a goalkeeper no yeah i never are like goalkeepers are <laughs> where was a striker no i didn't want to say you actually nobody really i think well people who close to me i didn't really was a footballer you know i mm. was mostly one no. mm. oh I, yeah fun fact fun fact that when I when I started in Dr. William Connor for me, right? Mm-hmm. I want to go to Bastia. No, I wanted to go to Bastia because I was so I was well, I was good at the time in running. Right. Uh, Bastia had the you know they had the track. The track club, more, yeah. They was more serious about running, but my mother my, my mother said um it, it's too open and she don't want she don't want me to go there so. Good, I good went, choice. Good choice. I went, so I went to Washi and I lost interest in running and then that's how I started to take football more serious. Oh, wow. okay. So your football career, as you would call it, really started in high school. That when you really take off, but it started in Dr. William. Right. So you play for the school mm-hmm. team in, in, in Dr. William Cano. Um, yeah. yeah, but when you really started to, to really feel a passion for it and love it, um, that was yeah. when you got to high school. But at what point yeah. did you did you did you think that hey, but this is something that I might want to do as a career? Um, I think probably second form, you know. Second okay. Wow, form. that is amazing. <laughs> for second you to know form. that you want to do this professionally in second form, what? Like, uh, that would have really go on to because when I was in second farm, I used to go, I used to play with Washi, um, second division. Even though I didn't used to play, I used to go all the time. I used to mm-hmm. go all the right. time. I didn't expect in any game, but I just used to go all the time. And I was mm-hmm. like, I really want, I really want to be a, fo- a professional footballer. So even 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 at this time when you're not let's say the starting the starting you're not in the starting squad you still knew that by I want to do this professionally. 
You mean uh, when I was in Washington at the time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Because when you see when you see a few people, um, few older people outside, you know, they're like okay, for the likes of Kayamba, the likes of Atiba, and you, you, you say to yourself, I think at the time I don't know if Atiba would make it to MLS at the time, but but yeah, you, you're saying to yourself, yeah, okay, if these guys could make it out there from a small, tiny federation, then you only leave hope for you, you know? So, right. if I think I can make it too. All right. And I, I, think it's, right. I think it's important because you're, you're really signaling the fact of how important it is to have examples of success because just yeah. like you would have looked up to, to the Atibas and the Kayambas and even some of the other players who might have played in Trinidad and some of the other islands, like, they there are no footballers who are looking at you and what you're doing and really you serve as an inspiration to them. And and I think yeah. this is important because that is how we're going to see the growth of the sport and the, and the growth of um, more and more professionals coming through from, 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 the, local, from the local ranks and the local leagues. Yeah. So, you, you, so when was your first um, national, when was your first national, your cap? When was your first cap? Uh, my first cap was um, I was in fifth. Um, was it was against USVI in the park? Mm. Yeah, it was against US, USVI in the park. We won that game to nil. It was it was a diesel tournament, and it was I think it's Nevis, Barbados, USVI. Okay. And you and you and so so your first game you won your first cap you won that's a good start yeah. yeah. And that's what I call him, Mr. Clean Sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the second, the second, I think the second game humbled me too, you know. <laughs> it was it was it wasn't such a good result. No, we we lost the game three one to Barbados, but we oh. still, you know. Yeah, but you 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 persisted and you continued and um. Yeah. But I'm I'm interested in like where did we, that name really come from, Mister Clean uh, Sheets? Ah, <laughs> uh, Mister Clean Sheets. I don't, I don't remember. Like before every game, my friends them always tell me clean sheet, clean sheet. But I don't I don't remember if I, if it come from baby or uh uh, uh guardian God sister. Yeah, I do remember you, but you one of them too. But it's fitting. It's it's actually fitting because you are somebody that literally does some extraordinary things with your body when it comes to <laughs> preventing these goals from being scored. As in, were you were you a goalkeeper as well? Was that what you used to do in your when your knees was good? No, 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 no. I play oh. in the midfield. I like boot up on people and so. That's what. I play in the midfield. I like I like I like I like, I like the war. But um, Jelani, like one of the things I I remember watching you, um, even coming up in high school and thing, when you when you catch that growth spurt, my boy, because <laughs> I remember it was like one day I see Jelani and then the next day I see him and he's like six five. Boy. Like when this growth when the growth spurt happened for you. <laughs> I don't know. I never, I never even really think about it, you know. <laughs> because even even if I watch. My brother Chevis, I like. I didn't even know he's ping up, ping up stuff. Um, yeah, you know? y'all tall for real. <laughs> y'all that tall. Yes, real. yeah, and and I think that is such a good asset um, for a goalkeeper for sure, for sure. Um, to be able to have that that stature and still be agile and be able to move and coordinated, I think that is a, a unique set of skills that you yeah. you put on full display. Because the first thing, the first thing. They tell me every time I go in a team, they're gonna use my hat. That, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, they're working with what they have, and they, they see it as an asset. Mm. So, where was your where was your first um like when you when you when you when you went out internationally? Was was the Honduras your first um, no. club? To to Trinidad. Yes, you did play in Trinidad, and how how was that experience? Um, you know, leaving the island and going off, and and now you're actually starting your professional career. Um, 
he, to be to be honest, he was he was a good he was a good good experience. I mean, um, I didn't feel lonely either because I had Devon beside me and I had Gerard beside me too. Because Gerard is really who opened the door for the door. us to Trinidad. So, well, longer by. Yeah. So having two Kitishan on the team really made me feel comfortable. You know. So that was a good transition for you um, in that yeah. case. Um, yeah. And I'm really happy to hear that that was the, the experience there. But, um, you know, there's not al- it's not always so, so smooth sailing. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've really been hearing about some unfortunate incidents that would have been happening, um, you know, that would have been happening as you now transition into your new club. Um, you care to share a bit about what what might have happened? Oh, you mean that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like to be honest, to be honest, like when I when I when I first came here, like um, the, the, I said to myself when I reached, and I said to myself, I said, "Wow, I'm the only black person." You know, I said it in my I said it in my mind, and. The coach, the coach, he pulled me aside and he was like, yeah, welcome here. Nobody don't discriminate anything and whatever. So he, he, he put he put my mind at, at ease, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, um, when, I, when we played the game last Saturday, you know, was playing then. Um, he had one time I went down for a ball and I grabbed it and like, the guy went in with his studs. So I get up to him and I confront him. I said, watch what you're doing, God. We didn't come here to play that. And the first thing he told me, he was, go back where I came from. Mm. Right? That's, what he, that's the first thing he tell me. So said, uh, he, he puts me in mind, but I continue playing. I continue playing. Then we went in half time. He came back out. So now I'm down by dear fans now. Because mm. first time I was by no, 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 down by their fans. Mm-hmm. So when it came back, oh, we gave up a penalty, they scored, right? But after we went back to the center circle, we went back up and we scored right away. Yeah. So I started celebrating. So when I celebrated, I only own in my half and like, you know, I'm close to the fans. So the fans were whistling and thinking. And one, one guy, I, I can literally watch in the cars. In Malta, you have strict, strict protocols, so you only allow twenty percent fans. You oh, not say, mm-hmm. you're not to say like thirty thousand fans in the stadium. Mm-hmm. So somebody chant something you, you can't hear, but it's twenty percent fans. So you know it's a little bit. So when I started to celebrate, God, that, that to make it two one, so we are ahead now. Then the guy saying monkey and nigger, and so I'm watching. And <laughs> He, 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 he had he had me traumatized because I could literally stand there on the field and watching in the in the stands and like this guy really cause I I in I didn't came here for that. Right, right. There to play mm-hmm. to eliminate it. And I was like when I was celebrating, the referee came and he gave me a yellow card. A celebrating? Like, yeah, he said I he said I was provoking their fans. What? For celebrating. <laughs> So when they call him monkey now, so I, I I'm telling him, I'm telling him like I'm telling him, um, but you're hearing him call me monkey and nigger and anything. So you're not gonna do anything about it, which in I know. I so no football, well not no, no, but I know a lot, which in mm-hmm. I know the football you're supposed to go to when somebody starts to Yeah, the protocol, issue. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and he's, he like, basically he's telling me like he can't do anything about it. But I said, look, you have a big board crossing saying no to racism. And like, <laughs> there's, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Imagine. So there's literally in the stadium a sign saying say no to racism. While well, this is happening. Remember, you have you have um, those viewing boards. So right. And you you in Europe, so you wait for have a. You wait for have a banner deal and you wait for games to play here in Malta. So they have that banner deal, not to race it. And basically he was telling he was telling me uh, he can't can Wow. 
So it like he hampered my game because I was taught I was more vocal before that happened than mm-hmm. after it happened. He kinda he still had me traumatized, so I kinda went silent in the goal. Yeah. I, yeah. Didn't I mean I'm but understandably so, because it's something like that, especially if it's the first time we're mm-hmm. you, we, we, we faced with that particular type of discrimination. Uh, it must make it difficult for you to do your job, especially if you're not getting the, the kind of recourse that you know you should you should get. Um, mm-hmm. And so that, that is that is understandable. And, and I must say, like, it's unfortunate that you would have had to have that Very experience. Much so that is, that is, that is because even... All the time, all the time you've seen it on you seen it on TV and you see mm-hmm. some who racially abused walk off the field. So in you you seen it, but you never really feel it until you really yeah, until it it happened to you, right? Experience it, yeah. yeah. So he had he had me traumatized. Cause I could literally go and watch, well, steady and watch the guy. Yeah, doing and what he's doing, know, yeah, yeah. He go, just because the team are losing. Yeah. There are just some people in the world that you just have to find somewhere to ignore because, you, as you as you, as you saw that there's there was no repercussion for that, and yeah. these are the people that will try to put you off your game, try to mess with your head, um, and you can't you can't you you just have to figure out how to 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 get around that because you are destined for greatness and these people just don't they're just not on the level that you are on well so I, they, they, yeah i i think it speaks just, to I, his talent boy, i think they recognize they recognize his talent they, they, they understand it's a threat, threat to their to their success the yeah. team success and they really try to undermine undermine you i yep. think yeah, what had them what had them it, they were frustrated to you check because i mean like it was like every ball put cross in the box, I was coming for them. So it was a bit frustrating to them. So you were having a good game. You were having a good game. Yeah, I was having a good game. Hence, hence put me in the team of the week. Okay. Exactly. Okay. See? Okay. See? They so, cannot stop greatness. They could try. They could say what they want. But once they knock you, because you know we will we will be on the planes. You know we're playing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it's, 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 and, and what, what, uh, that speaks to that really speaks to your talent. Your boy. talent, that's, by, that's yeah. amazing for you to just be starting out and you're already getting these accolades. Like, yeah, they're gonna just have to, they're gonna just have to feel your presence. They're gonna just have to always be upset, but you will do what you have to do and you will continue to raise. Um, despite, mm-hmm. yeah, I think Jelani, Jelani, this is there any talk of um, any further investigations or anyone from the FA looking into into the situation? At the Malta the Malta FA um, looking into this uh, this situation. Well that's what alas so the the team put out a a statement as well too and my club put out a statement as well but the last thing I saw, the Malta FA say they're gonna investigate it. So right. you feel like you, mm-hmm. you, so you feel like you have people on your side at least that care about your well-being and and all of yeah. this when when it comes to your team and everybody around you. Well, yeah, the team, my team, for sure. Mm-hmm. And it's good that you have that support. And my team, well, my our fans reach out to me too when 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 they saw. When they saw, when they realized my Facebook profile too, and mm-hmm. I got back in from back home as well too, you know. But watch oh, you. Know, we got you for yeah. forever and ever. For sure, as a matter of fact, Simburger here telling you, um, um, you know, blessed King, stay strong, um, hundred percent. So you, you definitely have a lot of support from from football fans all across the federation, mm-hmm. um, and we're really looking forward to you to your continued success because we know. You're gonna go there. You're gonna shine. You're gonna not only represent yourself and your family, but you're gonna represent all of us, um, Kittitians, um, especially football loving Kittitians and divisions. So we really, we really wanna want you to know that we we stand with you, that um, we're really looking forward to, to 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 hearing more things from you, more more team of the week, team of the month, MVP, everything. So 
um, yeah. definitely there's the support, the support um, from all of us right here in the federation. Um, definitely. But time running us down. Jay, do you have anything else you want to ask him before we leave? Well, I just want to wish him um, all the best. Like I've known Jelani since high school, and uh, I've always admired. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, but you're bossy, eh? so but I, understand, bossy. I understand. I understand. I know it's a wildcat. You, you don't understand because <laughs> you're not. But it's not our fault, so we can't fix that. <laughs> but yes, I just want to, to wish Jelani all the best, and I will continue to root for him um, in anything that he does because he is an amazing person and an even more amazing footballer. For sure. Um, Jelani, anybody, you, you know, you're all the way on the other side of the world. Anybody you want to shout out to right here back, back at home? Uh, yeah, I want to shout out firstly, I want to shout out my mother, my sister, my this the whole study. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm a well wish well as well to be fast. More people um, listening, watching, you know. Mm -hmm. For sure, we have that somebody calling this man instead of tuning in just to hear you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> they did. <laughs> but yeah. it says, uh, and, and on the lives, it's saying, hold your head up, don't let their ignorance deter you when they use those words to hinder your focus. Do an SKN dance in their face. I don't know which one you're gonna do, but you, you have a lot to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, it'd be funny if it'd be funny if they call him something and he just start walking up. I don't know. <laughs> no, you, won't, you won't believe, right? One somebody, one somebody told me when, when they was calling me a monkey, I was to act like a monkey, you know. But, nah. but I think I would have get another yellow card. Or, <laughs> I would have get another yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still can't understand the yellow card, but yeah, man, keep your head up and stay focused on, on, on your job at hand. Um, and the fact that you were able to remain composed, as we've seen some, some, um, some footballers, you know, choosing not to even continue the game once having those experiences. I really want to commend you for, for, for being mm -hmm. able to compose yourself in a way to be able to complete the, your task at hand and be able to contribute to your team by being on the field. So, um, you know, kudos to you. Um, like everybody's saying, keep your head up, um, stay strong, focus on football, focus on the task at hand. And um, we know we're going to be hearing even more good things from you as we move forward. Most definitely. 